G'day, I'm the Hot Fod and welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. That's right, we've got the hat back on and let's go to Red Alert. Alrighty then, we are going up against, I believe, let me just have a quick look-see here. We have an enemy destroyer. There it is. Let's see what details we can get on this. Okay, this is a... Oh, sorry, got in a shop there for a second. Hang on, I'm going to get in the oh, back. This is a CD-class destroyer. Uh, that's a British one, that one. And the other, I don't know anything about it at all, sorry. I'm, I'm completely oblivious to what's going on. And we also have... This one. This is Dido-class. Light cruiser. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the heaviest vessel we've gone up against so far. Probably not really including merchant ships, but I think this might be a bit heavier than a merchant ship. I don't know, but she is 5,600 tons of steel <laughs> and wood and shell casings. Anyway, on with it. I have decided in this case to take my Type 7 and my Type 9 U-boats uh, because they have the ability to essentially hide from the enemy to make it difficult for the enemy to do anything to them. So my plan here is very simple. Stay submerged. Wait until the enemy gets close and fire the Tahitos. I want some time doors. Alrighty then. Game plan established. We are going 20 degrees to port. Flank speed. Uh, actually, no. Keep going straight because we're on a bit of an angle with them. So we're coming in this way at them. Coming in this way. They're over there. And over there in front of us. So I'm going to keep going this way and see if they turn to come in front of me. So, just move forwards at flanking speed. Uh, no action as of yet. This is going to be a little boring for a bit. I do apologise, but we'll wait and see where this goes. Okay, next one. He is facing straight at the sides of them. So, he will continue on this path at flank speed. Alright, and same again. No action so far. Okay, the enemy light cruiser is making a slight turn to the starboard. This is going to bring him on a path towards this guy. So this one will now make a 25 degrees turn to the port at flank speed. Off you go little buddy, there we go, straight that way. And done. <coughs> now this one, what will he do? Because I didn't actually see what this one did. Okay, he has also made... In fact, he has made a 5 degrees turn to starboard from the look of the angle. You can see how there's a slight curve on his wake. The wake just sort of comes out to the one side there. And just to show you, there's the same thing there again. In fact, I think he may have also done a 5 degrees turn to starboard. So back to my vessel. Continue on the straight line. Flanking speed. He's turning really, really hard now, but you see how sluggish he is. He doesn't stand too much of a chance. He's, it's also a very big vessel. Nice, long, wide um, hole for me to aim at. Flanking speed straight ahead. And we're going to do the same again for you, and done. Oh, no. Change of pace. He has then now made probably a 15, 25 degrees turn to port. They're manoeuvring, they know we're here, but because we haven't done anything, they don't know what to expect. Okay, 15 degrees back to starboard. There we go. Now. Light cruiser is the target. Torpedoes. Alright, we have an estimate hit at 0 0.8 degrees. So let's aim that up. 
0 0.8 estimated hit at this point so I'm gonna put one because he is doing at the moment a crazy Ivan or in this case it's actually crazy Ivan came around during the Cold War so what he's actually doing here is a serpentine he's making left and right turns in the hope of dodging any torpedoes in the water so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull this back to 0 0.5 one there. I'm then going to come back. That's the length of his ship. So this is expected to hit somewhere around the midship. So there. So I need that distance. So I'm only coming back. Uh, 1.5 degree. There. Torpedoes are in the water. <clears throat> As for you, make a 20 degrees turn to port flank speed. Go. And done. Nothing else. Yeah, they're turning hard to the port. All these torpedoes could end up missing in the end if he keeps on that turn. Uh, 10 degrees starboard flank speed. Go. And no action on this round. There. Click that a few times, just to make sure we definitely are pressing the right button. As for you, you have that cruiser coming straight for you. I want you to make a 30 degrees turn to port. We're going to fire one torpedo. Estimate 350.8 degrees off the bow. 350.8. Hmm. <coughs> See this curve? I'm going to put it there. This is a big risk, but I'm going for it. It was 350.8. I'm going for 352.0, although, actually, no. Let's go 351.5. Wish me luck. Torpedo is in the water. Mm, that might still miss. Okay, my first two torpedoes have missed. Ooh! I hit him! Called it! We have a hit. What's the status of that ship? It is not yet a sinking. There it is there. Check him out. He has taken some damage. Propulsion, pumps, and forward torpedo has taken damage. So that means I hit him somewhere around here. That was a good hit. He is really listing over the one side there. One more torpedo ought to do it for him. And he'll be done for. Okay, you. Straight ahead flanking speed. Move. No action. Now wait for that ship to get a bit closer. Which one is this, by the way? This is... This is my Type 9. The other one's my Type 7. Okay, this is the one he's got more torpedoes than the Type 7 on board. Sometimes you just gotta wait a little bit. I waited long enough and he just went up. He is going down. There anyway, we no time for that. That cruiser is right over there. So 30 degrees start, but two thirds throttle, go. Target is over here. Torpedo 49.2. He's outside of my torpedoes firing arc. Oop, he's coming back around. Oh, 
Alright, this time we're gonna fire again from here. So, torpedo estimate at 1.5 degrees. Okay, let's find 1.5. Of course, he's currently turning on my path. I'm only going to bring it back 0.5. So, one degree, single torpedo. Fire! Fish in the water. Now, he is heading straight for me now. 30 degrees starboard. Two thirds from him. Do we have, we have a solution. Solution is 23.2 on his nose. I also want another torpedo at 22.2. Another one. 24.2. I don't know which way he's going to go, so I'm going to take my chances and fire it down either side of him. Let's hope for a hit. Come on. Three torpedoes in the water. One hit. Oh! He is gone! Holy shit! What on earth did that hit? That was huge! Cyber must have hit something explosive. Why the hell would you have something explosive in the front of your ship? Well, uh, this is actually the second video I've recorded tonight that's gone much quicker than expected. So, I guess that's it. All we've got now left to do is just... Listen to the sound of the ship sinking. Well, there you go. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, um, Jesus. I reckon we should watch that again. Freaking awesome. Again, you know what to do, eh? Hit smash that like button down below. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already so you can get notifications when I upload. Uploads are 8.30 a.m. Saturday and Sunday mornings. And I will see you in the next video. Peace!